Welcome to A Moment with the Mills. I'm Barbara Mill. Thank you for joining Manny and me as we take this time to have a conversation with our Heavenly Father. And we'll let him begin by reading from his word. Then Manny will respond in prayer. Here we go. Psalm 43 verses 3 and 4. Oh, send out your light and your truth. Let them lead me. Let them bring to me to your holy hill and to your tabernacle. Then I will go to the altar of God, to God my exceeding joy. And on the harp, I will praise you. Oh God, my God. We thank you for the God that you are our God, that we can possess you because you possess us. And we can praise you because you have given us enough reasons, enough blessings. Oh, Father, for us to have all day long, all day long, have the ability to praise you and to worship your name. And Father, the, the psalmist here wants to see your light and your truth. And indeed, Father, we have seen the light in Christ. We have seen the fullness of your truth in Christ Jesus as well. So we can be led to the holy mountain. This is the, this is the, this is Mount Zion. And Father, I in particular, I'm so grateful because it was there that I met my wife, Barbara. Oh, Father, almost more than 31 years ago, Father God. So thank you that that's a special place for Barbara and I because that's where we met. Late at night on July 13th, 1989. But Father, there's the place where we can also meet you, Father, and the holy mountain. So Father, take us there. Take your church there through your light and through your truth that we may be able to, to go to the harp and praise you, Father, and adore your name with great joy, with great exuberance, Father, because you deserve our praise and our adoration. You want us to hallow your name. So here we are, we shout, hallelujah, because you deserve it, Father. Oh, Father, give us a new song to the church in America today. Oh, Father, we need to sing to you. We need to praise your name so you will liberate us, Father, from this oppression that many of us feel and are bound by. But, Father, we know that in Christ we see and we experience the freedom that we can have permanently. In Jesus' name, I pray through the power of the Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. In Psalm 43, verse 2, we saw the psalmist describe God as the God of my strength. Here in verse 4, we see the psalmist describe God as my exceeding joy. God himself is the joy and not just joy, but exceeding joy. And the psalmist longs to be able to go into the house of God to worship him. As I read this description, I was immediately reminded of the gospel account of the wise men from the east visiting the infant Jesus in Bethlehem. We are told that when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceedingly great joy. Why? because the star had led them to the very presence of Jesus. And where was Jesus? In a humble home. In these days of the pandemic, many are not able to go to church buildings for worship. But the good news is that like the wise men, we can worship God in our homes. And joy should be a characteristic of that worship. May we, like the psalmist, be able to say that God himself is our exceeding joy.